Welcome to part 27 of my Building the Black Pearl All Scenario version. I'm uh, knee deep, well I should say shoulder deep, in doing rope work. So I just wanted to give an update to let you know where I am. The rope work is going to take me quite a while to fully complete, especially the rope ladders and things like that. So I'm going to show you where I'm at and then it may take me a few weeks and I'll come back when that rope work is done. Let's go into a little more detail on how I got to this point. By going numerically from uh, the blueprints plan number one and just finding number one, like I said earlier, and working through, that has worked pretty well. I'm up to just finished 32. So I'm up to 33. I think there's only a total of about 36. So I'm getting close to being done. By being done, I just meant the rope work as far as what these instructions call for. I will mention that this does not have as an extensive amount of uh, rigging that the other version, the Black Pearl uh, Golden version, it had quite a bit more rope work than this. But this is going to be sufficient and I could always use those plans and add to this rope work. Now I do have a couple of issues and it may be my fault. I haven't figured it out for sure. But when I get into this area here, there are a couple lines that I have that come up and go in front of this. And I'm concerned that when I do these dead eyes and these ladder ropes, that they're going to crisscross somehow because this, these end up going underneath this. So I may end up uh, taking a couple of these off and redoing it because I know that lines should not rub on anything and they shouldn't cross over each other. So I may have made a slight error there. I'll just deal with that at some point along the way. You can always undo things and redo them. I've glued most of the on deck uh, supplies in place. I may add some more before I finish the build and I'll give you a complete tour at that time. Another valuable tool that I've made is using a needle threader and this piece of the metal. I drilled two very tiny holes in the end of this dowel and a little CA glue to hold it in place and let me show you how I use it. I'm hopeful that the camera is going to stay in focus as I reach around here. So what I'm having to do is I want to pull the rope from the upper hole right there. I already have this started. I'm going to switch to clamping scissors because I can hold it tighter. Now, if I can pull that through, there we go. Lines. Okay, I'm on my way. Now I'm going from this side through the, I'll call it the nose hole. And now I can come back through. Off camera, I was able to get that thread through the threader and now I can pull it through. And it's just following the order or sequence that you use to Tighten up your dead eyes. The nose hole, as I'll call it, maybe. There's my threader. Now it is. Be able to read 
reach with my fingers. I bumped the camera, so I had to uh, reposition. It's going to take me a bit to get this up, but it goes, there'll be a gap there. I'll pull it through and then I'll wind it up through here and cinch it down. I admit I could not do any of this without this little needle threader. And even with that, but that's, uh, that's part of the fun of model shipbuilding is the challenges. Just out of the way. Now if I can reach in and hold this, I can pull that through. There we go. This one actually goes on the opposite side from where we are. Pull this through. And what I've been doing is taking a small pair of these clamping scissors and using it as a weight. You can't see, but I'm going to clip this on and then just let it dangle to the side of the ship. Then I can adjust the tension how I want it to be. I want to talk just a minute about some tools that did and didn't work out for me. And I've made some videos on some. This was a dead eye tool, and I thought it would come in handy. You pre-make the dead eyes, but it doesn't have enough flexibility, and they still twisted up on me after I made them. So that's a bust. I have not been using it. What I have come up with that's working really well for me, I took just some scrap wood. I have two different styles of this. And how I use it is I'll take a dead eye. I made one wire a little bit longer than the other so I can find the, the opening in the dead eye. And I'll call it the eye part. The two eyes is where this goes through. What I do is I position that just like that. And on the ship, this will be the lower dead eye. On this side will be the upper. Then I can run the rope work. Then the rope work I can tie around each one. And if I want to hold it more in place, I can kind of bend the wires a little bit. And then I can tie a thread around this and cinch it closer. Here are the two styles I made, one with the dead eyes on the same side and one on opposites. I'll use this when I make the, uh, the rat lines, so you'll see it in practice. But I just wanted to show you what I had made and that it is working very well. Simply take a, uh, a thicker piece of, this was scrap from the, the build itself, one of the placards that had things on it. Drilled the very small holes to fit the approximate distance between the dead eyes doesn't have to be exact because they do come in different sizes and then put through some thin brass wire put a little CA glue on the back side just to kind of hold them in place if those wear out or break from bending then I'll just replace them it gives you a consistent spacing when you run the rope work for the rat lines going the two directions the other is this. I had bought some tools, but as you can see, these are a little short, and these are to help you grab the lines and um, hook them different places. I took two strands of thin copper wire and twisted them together. I did kind of tap with a hammer the, at the very tip of it, to give me this little flat opening and then I soldered it again drill the hole in here little CA glue and I can reach all the way across the ship and push that line 
in and get it behind the different tie-off locations. So that has come in very handy. Again, if I had to do over again, I wouldn't purchase these. I would just make more of these in various sizes. I'm doing these upper rat lines a little different than what I originally had planned. And I've wrapped them around as an illustration. What I've done is I've basically just wrapped and done a crisscross and each one of these will go down and attach to a dead eye down here. So once I get that in place, then I'm putting a little CA glue to hold it. And I'll do, you know, obviously one for the left, one for the right. I don't know if you can see, but then each one I've numbered because the pairs need to match up so that it lines up correctly. So I hope that makes sense. That's what I'm trying to do. One other thing that I'll mention on the uh, metal that is around this, the metal wire that's around this dead eye, I didn't use the ones that came with the kit. I have some softer, thinner metal that I could wrap around there and just kind of get it on there fairly tight. So that progressed pretty well. You can see them in place right there. And then I'm getting ready to pull this one down. My spacers that I had made, I'm, you may remember, I just don't have enough room. I probably should have done this earlier before I had this other rope work in the way. But uh, it's trial and error for me. I just keep trying different techniques. You can see I have them in place here. I've also put the uh, rail guardrail on the crow's nests. I was tempted to not use this metal pin. I almost switched and just used a very tiny dowel rod and made it wood. I'm mixed on that. I still lean towards the wood, but I went ahead and used the, the metal pins that came with the kit. So you can see up here, I've got those two clamping scissors on there because I've done a crisscross part on the rope. Now I've glued it and I want it to remain in place so that just gives a little weight to that rope to hold it where I want it. I get real confused when it comes to rope sizes and the ropes that were in the kit. I have a lot of rope so some of it is not what came in the kit, it's rope that I have. So I just wanted to mention that in case you do have this kit and you're using the ropes that came with it. And that's just my own inexperience. I'm just uh, trying to use the size that they, that they say. I hope you can see through all of this that I've got a couple of these dead eyes tied off. I'm not going to say that I'm the world's best at this. And I'm not going to trouble you with watching me try and string these. It is taking uh, a lot of patience and a lot of work. And I will say again, this little tool that I made, I could not do it without it. That concludes part 27 of my building the Black Pearl. And it's, uh, it's a very rewarding experience for me. And like I've said before, a great hobby. This ship won't be done for probably years because I will, from time to time, add something new to it and do a little more work. There's a lot more rope work that can be done than what this kit actually uh, gives instruction for. But when I finish the ship, as far as the initial build, I will do a video showing the entire ship in a little more detail. Not any instruction, just a review of how I got through the build and what the ship actually looks like. As always, thanks for watching.